Hey, look at the school bus behind me. Look at it. Look at it right there. I used to hate the damn school bus. That thing was just like a big cesspool with wheels. I had to ride around in every day with kids sneezing, coughing, little assholes, screaming, man. Oh, God. Put the window up! See, going through a car wash like this is like being born again to me. It's like I'm coming out my mother's, my mother's birth canal, and you know, there's a lot of things happening. There's brushes, there's soap suds, there's wax. It's hot, it's warm. But um, when I come out, I'm finally gonna be clean and clear, and uh, I'm gonna be like a newborn baby. Oh, the best part is the rinse. The best part is the rinse. Okay, I just went through the car wash. It's nice and clean now. But the one problem I have is uh, I had a lot of trash inside. And um, I kind of cleaned it out a little bit so far. But here's what's going to happen. I'm gonna try to make the bottles in here, but I'm gonna hit the camera. Watch, I will hit the fucking camera and it will fall and break. You know what, I don't wanna wear the glasses anymore. Because I'm a badass. Okay, I missed. I missed. I know. Alright, um, I'm actually going to go to the uh, X video store now because I hear, did you guys hear the way I said here? Here, what the hell am I, a snake? Um, I actually heard um, they clean discs at a cheap price and I have a couple discs. Um, there's a cop, see that cop back there? Okay, you probably can't see him because I didn't turn the camera. Anyway, I heard that they clean discs at a, a very good price and I have a few old movies here that I need I need them cleaned I need the scratches buffed out that way I can go trade them in get some store credit and uh, buy some more movies you see how it works you recycle the old you bring in the new you dance with the devil on a pale moon night and then uh, the Joker kills your parents according to the uh, original Batman movie directed by Tim Burton Fucking awesome, man. Uh, it's so warm out and nice. You know, it's only the middle of March right now, but it feels like it's, you know, July. It's, I'm, I've said it once and I'll say it, say it again. Thank God for global warming. So convenient for my generation. It's gonna suck later down the road, but you know what? I always get nervous when cops fly up on me like that, man. A little respect for society, officer. You know, I'm a guy just trying to record himself driving around. Uh, let me put my seatbelt on too. I guess that might help the cause. But um, they uh, they had Disney movies in there, and I feel like they didn't understand the value of them uh, because they had the Fox and the Hound on DVD um, for fifty nine dollars. Yeah, who the fuck is going to buy that? Isn't the Blu-ray, is the Blu-ray of that out yet, Fox and the Hound, or it's coming? It'll be coming if it's not out for $20, and they want $60 fucking dollars for that. That blows my melon. They also had uh, Cinderella in there, that was $30. Pretty much every Disney movie they had in there was $30. And I took three Disney movies in there that I upgraded to Blu-ray on, and she and plus two Blu-rays, and they were going to give me <laughs> $20. So uh, I don't I don't get it. They're just like punching me in the fucking head. All right, let me talk to you as I go over speed bumps and these people walk very slowly in front of me. Yep, not a moving missile behind you that weighs two tons. Nope, I can't kill you if you don't walk faster. People just don't understand the concept of vehicles and the people behind them that are having a bad day can end them. Um, I just basically 
admitted that I wanted to murder someone, didn't I? Um, yeah, but that's what the speed bumps do, you know? Now I'm out of the speed bumps and I, I feel better about life. Okay, doing my normal drive-by of the uh, Panda Express to see what's going on inside. You know, if there's a lot of older senior citizens, I just can't go in, you know? And it depends what other kind of people are in there. It just, I, you know, I, if I'm gonna go in to eat somewhere, I need to judge the scenery, I need to judge the, uh, the reception that I'm going to receive. And you know, if it's too busy, I feel like the body heat's going to touch my food. Alrighty guys, so today what did we do? We, uh, we went to a car wash. I almost broke my camera by throwing bottles into a dumpster. Not the smartest thing I've ever done, but you know what? If you live life by the safety of common sense, cool shit never happens. Um, and what else did I do? I went to a few movie places and I bought one DVD for $3.99 and it's Brick. And uh, a good pal of mine recommended I watch this and uh, it's got, you guys know this kid right here, let me show you. This kid right there, you see him right here? He was in a movie when he was younger called Joe the King, I believe, with Val Kilmer. Great movie, I gotta pick that up on DVD, I don't know why, I just always, something about that movie reminded me of myself. Anyway, this movie stars Joseph Gordon Lovitz and uh, Lovitz, Lovitz, <laughs> Lovitz, Joseph Gordon Lovitz, it, okay. Anyway, um, I heard it's a good little mystery movie. I'm definitely interested to check it out. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. So anyway, guys, my name's John. I'm gonna go eat my orange chicken, which has been under a heat lamp for the last 30 minutes and some dried out fried rice. All right, um, uh, all right. Oh, hey, badass. Honk that horn. All right, how about I come put your head through the windshield and...